team and I'll be giving you some guidelines on this particular aspect. Sort of keeping a healthy boundary and the other person also. Let's call that person. particular learner wanted to patch up but this side there was no response from this side. So he decided to keep healthy boundaries based on what side. was an issue developed into a very big fight. So many people... What is the use of learning a language without having the mindset to observe life, to observe people? So being a language trainer, I'm also a language counsellor and that's why I work on topics uh, including language and mental health. So today's video focuses on some people who claim to be counsellors. You would have also come across such people who are not professionally counsellors but sometimes we rely on very comfortable people who uh, would like to listen to your problems and help patching things up but at the same time you would have also seen people who claim to be counsellors who say that I can solve any problems that you face especially within the families at workplaces and also amidst friends so before I begin today's video, let me remind you that most of the situations are taken from my language counselling sessions where people share about the problems that they face. I'm not here to solve the problems, but through language and through some mental health uh, inputs, I think I will be able to help them. And I've taken a particular session. I'm not going to mention the name and I'll be giving you some guidelines on this particular aspect. So before beginning today's video, my name is Rini Rose Matthew. I'm a CELTA certified tutor, a language trainer and also an author. So being an author, it's not just enough that I work on my language. Language is of course a skill, but still I need to listen, I need to observe people and also trace and work more about the needs and requirements of a person. So whenever somebody uh, comes for a session, what happens is I listen to them, I observe them and then I'll be able to give the apt activity and the guidelines. Language counseling and psychology has really helped me because language is directly connected to the psyche of the mind. So two weeks back, I came across a learner I wouldn't call that a learner because language counseling sessions are taken by anyone. This person told me that he had a problem. The problem began as a tiff. Tiff is a kind of um, trivial quarrel. It begins as something that's silly, not so serious. Okay, It began as a tiff, some kind of indifference with one of his family members. Uh, what began as a tiff developed into a major issue where he did not have any sort of conversation or communication with a family member. Now it developed into a major problem because of some miscommunication. Now remember when you communicate with anyone in the family or your friend, remember a lot of people are involved. Remember outside that particular boundary of communication you have other people also. So here this person told me I did not realize that this tiff had already started developing into a major problem because of miscommunication and some people are very silent when it comes to communication of the entire discourse. Some people choose to be silent but they will shovel, they will keep inducing unnecessary things and that's how the gap widens. So this person who had a tiff a kind of mini quarrel with one of the family members forgot about that even that family member forgot about it it became a major issue and then they had quarrels and a lot of problems it went on for 10 years and then they chose to keep healthy boundaries because further conversations sometimes see in mental health also counselors and psychologists speak about maintaining healthy boundaries of course we don't have a choice when it comes to family I'm trying to speak about this because there are a lot of people coming for relationship advice and suggestions everyone even you and me whoever is listening to me will have different circumstances and situations the culture is different in every family though we belong to a particular community I'm not saying that everything is right and some of it is wrong so here this person thought of keeping a healthy boundary and the other person also let's call that person 
X okay and what began as a tiff developed into a major issue and they understood that despite talking over it see certain things get solved okay subconsciously when you talk over the whole thing and when you have two people y and x the problem gets solved in no time and both of them show the interest to patch up okay but here my client or that particular learner wanted to patch up but this side there was no response from this side so he decided to keep healthy boundaries based on the suggestions and advice of many other people and that went on after 10 or 11 years there was one uncle okay one particular i don't know maybe you call mamas or you can say uncles one particular uncle who came into the scenario he got to hear something from somewhere and wanted to patch up the whole thing so without knowing about what really happened at the ground level that uncle took the side of one person for some time and then took the side of another person so initially itself both these parties said you don't know what happened at the ground level the, the there was some sort of miscommunication so many things like so much of time gets invested when you try explaining and elaborating so i told that person the first mistake was to involve a person who's not professionally equipped as a counselor so this person comes in saying i am very good in solving problems you can tell anything to me and then this learner said uncle i'm okay with what i am now this peace of mind no need to patch it up because we are keeping our healthy boundaries we wish goodness and well-being for each other we don't have any problem the only thing is we have boundaries we don't communicate with each other but this uncle was adamant and wanted to patch it out and he called for a conference a call conference a video conference when the video conference began what was an issue developed into a very big fight so many people got involved but one good thing was that this learner got to know about people who were silently involved throughout these years so as i told you in the beginning patching up or reconciliation rectifying something everything happens when the other party is also willing whether it's a relationship whether it's relationship before marriage or after marriage with your relatives with your friends it is something that happens between two people so what happened was that this uncle got into the problem without knowing about the basic things remember something after a breakup or after you have a kind of problem with any of your friends or relatives if the person chooses to cling to the past it's not your problem you cannot do anything about it these are things that are out of your control now what's in your control is to rectify to feel sorry if something uh, was unintentionally done from your side or even intentionally done from your side so forgiveness is important because sometimes it helps you to move on when you forgive it's not that you're forgetting everything that happened the toxicity or lot of things keeping healthy boundaries but you're forgiving you're allowing yourself to breathe inhale exhale and move on with your life so you're in this is a particular and special situation where he went to the extent of involving people now what i want to tell you is do not choose do not even give the space to others to get involved with such complexities so never choose to include people who are not professionally equipped as counselors they may come and tell you i am i am an expert in doing all these things of course some people do not need the qualification and the degree because they have got the inbuilt quality or the skill to listen to people now some people don't have the listening skill now here this person also from what the learner told me i'm using the word learner because otherwise you will get confused so from what i understood the uncle also did not have the capacity to research and find out what really happened so when it's a counselor or a person who is professionally equipped will not have any partiality will not take the sides of anyone that's the first thing second thing is it will be objective things will be dealt objectively not subjectively they will listen to both the sides sometimes counselors also fail so imagine the plight of an ordinary person always check if they have got the listening capacity if they are the right people to take part or to really patch things out if somebody does this voluntarily good well and good 
that's the intention of a person good because nobody does that these days so this person had the willingness to patch things up but it became worse but remember that you need to give time to yourself to heal before that if you go for something else you know um deviating you're not allowing yourself to heal from within healing should happen from within because some problems can really be solved by talking over it but it should happen from both the sides it shouldn't be that one side remains indifferent clinging to the past and saying that i cannot forget what happened it is a necessity it should be the necessity from both the sides to patch up and to begin afresh okay now i'm not saying that you have to do this or this is something that you have to do you have to forgive no because situations uh, the problems or whatever whatever you have whatever you are facing or whatever you have been facing is quite subjective and only you know about it when that's the case you have to um, you know use this power of decisiveness it's okay to be diplomatic in life but when it becomes a part of your life consistently like see learning also happens when you are consistent when you work consistently on the english language you develop all the skills similarly if you choose to be people pleasers if you choose that kind of facade or the fake um veil that you always put on it becomes a habitual pattern of your life and finally you forget your identity that's when it becomes dangerous see today people tell me i think everyone wears a mask and most of the time you have to be real it's good to be real right but when you don't have the choice when you're at workplace or when you're elsewhere most of us are wearing masks it shouldn't be a habitual pattern of your life because ultimately you forget your identity when you forget your identity you don't realize that and maybe after 20 years you ask yourself what have i been doing with my life and that's when you're at crossroads with yourself and that's a very dangerous situation because you're always answerable to yourself not to anyone else The next thing that you have to always remember is some people just love playing the victim card. As I told you some people don't like open talks. They don't like talking over the problems that they created despite knowing that they have been doing something wrong. Now this is the case of victim card. They don't like to be confronted. And if they are confronted with all the evidence and everything they say, you know, I was trying to do something but I think you just pounced on me. So they put the victim card they toss the victim card trying to free themselves from the situation like escaping and evading the actual situation however you try to persuade them however you try to convince them with everything that's genuine about what has been really happening they have already decided to block to put that filter i wouldn't say transparent filter but an opaque filter so that they can stay away they have already shunned themselves to be within that boundary to not expose because their choice has been always to be not transparent then how can you control what they are thinking the only thing you can do is try try negotiating try talking but if that's not working it's not your problem the last point is some people are not really happy with themselves when they're not happy with themselves they try to find fault Now this doesn't happen just for a day or two some of course people have their mood swings they have their highs and lows i'm not speaking about that low ebb and high tide and all such things that's quite natural we all are human beings but it becomes a pattern where they always want to quarrel where they always want to find fault now that is because they are not happy with themselves it could be due to various reasons like childhood trauma is one of the reasons it could be because of several other factors that even if people are trying to be happy with them they find fault because of some other uh, you know health problems health complications which they are not aware about because there are lot of diseases and health conditions not even diseases health conditions that are not completely curable but that can be controlled okay because of the mind if your mind is okay if the mindset is fine then i think you can definitely regulate and control and ultimately heal yourself so this this is what happens people don't give the time to heal themselves from within they will again try to play the victim card and sometimes what they do is they end up you know emptying the trash can on others the spillage will be there The last point is this is something that learners ask me in connection uh, to the English language learning process 
ma'am is it okay to make mistakes when we speak okay i'm just including this also to this part because uh it's okay to definitely make mistakes when you speak because speaking is spontaneous and you don't have any option to proofread and also to edit one or two words is okay until and unless you have this habitual pattern all of always making mistakes with prepositions with tenses with words one or two words if you have the slip of tongue it's okay even great you know great people legends make mistakes it just happens because of maybe lack of focus or slip of tongue that's absolutely fine so you don't have to find fault with people saying that you are an expert you have made a mistake there even when it comes to learners that's what we do as trainers we don't correct each and every sentence what we do is we always look at the pattern of errors as trainers and that's when we correct you should know where and when to correct people thanks for staying with me and always take care of your mental health of course language is important happy learning